Hi, Andrew Glazer here from glazertutoring.com, and today I would like to teach you how to balance CH4 plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. So this is a type of combustion reaction, not that it even matters, but the first step is going to be to find that yield sign draw vertical line that'll help us differentiate the left-hand side from the right-hand side. Next is that to then just write in these little lines here, and those lines will represent the locations of the coefficients you can plug in to balance it. All right, work with now the first element you see working from left to right. So we have one carbon atom on the left. There's an invisible one down there, all right? And we also have one carbon atom over here on the right-hand side, so that's balanced. Don't worry about it, move on to the next one. So here we have now four hydrogens on the left. So you can write that number down. So I like, I like to write something like this, four. And on the right-hand side here, we only have two. So somehow this has to equal out, all right? So you wanna place in a coefficient on the lower side, all right, makes the math easier. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna kinda take this X here, right? There's some number that you wanna pl plug in there and you're going to place it right next to the two here in your equation because you're really asking yourself what number times two will give me a total of four. This is the math that goes along with it. So I think you can kinda plainly see that X here should be two, right? So simply just go back, erase the X and just plug in the two, that's it. All right, so now the hydrogens will be balanced, right? Four hydrogens on the left, and then a total of four, two times two is gonna be four. Then go to the oxygen. Now, how many oxygens do you have on the left? You have a total of two on the left. How many now oxygens on the right? Well, you have two in this compound and you have two in this compound. There's one oxygen in every single water molecule, but you have two water molecules, all right? So that's why you have two oxygens over here. Then two plus two is obviously then four. So somehow this is your math equation. Always place in the coefficient on the lower side. So two times what will give you four. Obviously X will be equal to two. And that two is the number you're gonna plug in here. And guess what? It's balanced now. You're done, right? Go back and check everything if you like. One carbon on the left, one carbon on the right, four hydrogen on the left, four hydrogen on the right, four oxygen on the left, and you have two oxygen here and two oxygen here, so that's a total of four. Done. Thanks so much for tuning in. Check out some more of our videos. Go to our website for more help and more practice. We've got a lot of stuff coming out for you. Take care.